Today marks a memorable day for many of you and your families, you who are graduating today. You have dreamt of this day and look forward to it as a day of accomplishment of that goal you had set to achieve. Today, as you appear adorning those beautiful gowns, you symbolically express your, ex your preparedness and the commendable fulfillment of this important phase of the intellectual and professional formation. May your external beauty that we can behold from here express also the beauty within. Safeguard and nurture especially that beauty. Indeed, it is exchangeable with holiness within your souls, within your thought, within your plans and ambitions. I wish to thank Kwa University through the University Council and the Senate for the immense honor of asking me to stand in in order to appreciate and as a special guest in this 41st graduation. Indeed, it is my first time to address such an august audience of academics. I'm really pleased to congratulate our graduates today for reaching this milestone in their life. By graduating with your respective doctorate, undergraduate or postgraduate degrees or diplomas, you prepare yourselves for a productive and meaningful engagement in your life. We thank Queer University, especially the faculty, for working with our graduates in their academic journey, which has taken years and culminates today in this momentous occasion. Your Honor, our Cabinet Secretary, Your Grace, my Lord Bishop, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the theme for this year's graduation challenges us to seize and create opportunities for growth, just as our Cabinet Secretary has restated. Expanding opportunities for growth, quality education and training in the context of changing world dynamics. We celebrate that where University has been a trailblazer in this line. The university has developed market sensitive programs and has an innovative hub which directly responds to this graduation theme. Our Catholic University of Eastern Africa has been through tough times, tough moments, but we have found the strength and resolve to always forge ahead, trusting in God's grace and with great dedication and goodwill of all working in this institution. For this, today, I wish to extend on behalf of AMESEA, the Association of Member Episcopal Conferences of Eastern Africa, a big congratulation to you all, faculty, support staff, administration, and in a special way to the Senate and University Council for a splendid and a courageous spirit. In 2016, the government of Kenya decided to partner with private universities in the country so as to expand the pool of universities with government-sponsored students. In response to her mandate and mission, the Catholic University of Eastern Africa embraced this partnership in order to reach out much further in offering quality education to all, irrespective of their faith and economic standing, and especially to those who otherwise who have found it very difficult to undertake their studies. Dear graduates, as you leave this graduation square, realize that you must be courageous enough to surf the waves that life presents to you, as well as to be skilled enough to take full advantage of them. 
Some of these waves that life will throw to you be fast and fast seem unsurmountable, even unsurmountable threats. But with the combined moral, professional, and human skills you have acquired in this great university, you ought to turn them into wonderful opportunities. Graduation day does not mark an end nor a final destination. In fact, it only creates a runway for takeoff to greater heights. Our graduation theme today challenges you to set out a road map of growth. Do not be satisfied with what you have achieved thus far. You can choose to further grow your career academically by pursuing professional courses and postgraduate programs, of course, offered here in Catholic University of Eastern Africa first. With the help of today's technology, you have a myriad of possibilities through virtual learning. But growth grows beyond academic and professional pursuits. Grow your mind and grow your soul. Acquire soft skills and people skills. Grow your heart in care and service. No doubt you have a good foundation. So as you graduate today, we believe you have acquired skills that make you the best academics and professionals in your respective areas of study. Be eternally grateful to your families and guardians for the sacrifice they have made to enable you to reach here. And kindly, I invite you to applaud your family and your guardians who are here present. As the Cabinet Secretary has just reminded us, in order to review and see how to improve our education system, our President, Dr. William Ruto, recently appointed this working party on education reforms. Your Honor, our Cabinet Secretary, we are very grateful and proud to know that among the members appointed to this task force is our very own Vice Chancellor, Professor, Father, Reverend Stephen Bogwa. Thank you. Like many other education institutions in Kenya, necessary reforms which will provide a fitting setting to mold our young people and spur this country into social economic and technological growth. Finally, to our soon to be graduates, today you leave choir and you leave choir student body to join our prestigious square alumni body made up of over 27,000 alumni. You leave square, but you should not leave square. You leave the body of, of students and become the body of alumni. We pride ourselves that these alumni are spread out in different professions, many having advanced in leadership even beyond our borders. You will be well advised to engage within these alumni body for good networking as the alumni representative already asked and requested you for mentorship and also for in, in search of professional opportunities. Resolve therefore to become an active member of the university's alumni association. Take up, the challenge, take up the challenge going forward also to take in those coming after you. We look forward to partnering you, partnering with you in this endeavor, hoping you will also mentor our continuing students. And as already reminded, you are ambassadors of Catholic University of Eastern Africa out there. We 
in prayer, pride ourselves as a university that offers quality and value-based education. As an ambassador of prayer, you are expected to give your best in what you do and to be a champion of values. Remember those core values that already you've been reminded today and allow me to single out truthfulness, honesty, and commitment. Let these values blossom and leave seeds in the arid environment of today's world. To change the negative effects of corruption, we need new seeds blossoming from the flowers of the values that you have embraced and internalized. Today, the Queer family are extremely proud of you. We promise to pray for you and wish you great success both in your professional and personal life. session.